Okay, so let's pick up here and uh, talk a little bit about alternative view protection in this last segment. Okay, you'll notice here that this is labeled optional and experimental. And I'm going to talk a little bit here in the video of, about why we label this experimental in just a moment. But for right now, let's discuss what alternative views actually are. An alternative view on your site might be the front page of your site, where if you've configured WordPress, which is the default configuration, where your front page is showing a list of your most recent posts in excerpt format, where you're seeing just a clip of each recent post, that would be considered an alternative view. Or a category archive would be considered an, ar uh, an alternative view. A tag archive, an, uh, an archive by author, an archive by date, uh, a list of search results where a list of posts is being displayed with excerpts, an XML feed or an Atom feed for your site, uh, on, which is also referred to as RSS, where you're you're seeing inside the feed a list of excerpt, uh, and a list of excerpts for each post that you've published recently. Those are all considered archive views or alternative views, where there are excerpts being displayed with a, along with multiple entries. In other words, you're not just looking at the permalink for a poster page, you're looking at clips of each poster page in a list. Okay, Those are alternative views or they're also referred to as archive views. By default, S2Member does not protect those because by default, S2Member assumes that you're going to want those excerpts to be made available so that at least some of your content can be picked up by search engine spiders and so that public visitors to your site will at least be able to see short clips and excerpts of your content and then if they were to choose uh, continue reading or they were to click on the actual permalink to the full version of the of the post or of the page then and then and only then would they be redirected to the membership options page and be asked to register for the site okay now there is one exception to that and that is if you are you scroll up here for a moment. If you have protected an entire category, okay, then the category archive views, okay, those would be off limits. So if you protect an entire category, in this example I've protected category 16, then if I was to try and go to that, that particular archive view to see the category listing, then of course S2 member is going to block access in that case, okay. Uh, the same would be true if you protected a tag archive. As to remember, would also block access to the tag archive. Okay, but under normal circumstances, most people uh, will protect individual posts or individual pages. And you'll see here that note: protecting individual posts only protects the permalinks for those posts. Okay, and it goes on to talk about the fact that if you want to protect the list of results, such as search results or the other alternative views that we're talking about here in this panel then you can enable this okay so there's a few options here you can choose to hide protected content in feeds only okay so for example let's say that you publish a new post tomorrow and you require using the little drop down menu provided by us to remember you require level one access to that post Normally, by default, when it's set like this, S2 member is going to push that out in your XML feed. It might push it to your front page of your site for all the world to see in excerpt format. And then if someone was to click on the link to go and look at the full version, then S2 member would redirect them to the membership options page. But turning this on, for example, in feeds only, would not allow that post, even in excerpt format, to appear in your feed. Okay. Now there's some other options here. If I wanted to do it just in searches, for example, this is a popular choice for site owners because a lot of times they like the teasers and little excerpts to be visible in different places, but they don't want them to appear in search results because that can become confusing uh, to someone looking through your site, uh, stumbling across something in a list of results, clicking on it only to find that they don't have access to it. All right. So sometimes that is desirable, and then sometimes people want to do it with this option where you want to use searches and feeds you want to hide any protected content that would appear in either one of these but still leaving it available on your site itself so this covers searches and feeds only this covers searches only and this covers feeds only okay now this setting at the bottom is all inclusive this is just saying yes I want to filter all WordPress queries protecting all alternative views okay so what is this setting actually doing all right, internally, WordPress is going to attach itself to all database queries that are performed using standardized functions in WordPress. 
So whenever a plugin or a theme is using one of the standardized functions to make a query in order to obtain that list of posts or pages, okay, WordPress or uh, S2 member, I should say, is going to make an attempt to filter the result sets returned by those queries, removing any content that is not available to the current user, whether that user is logged in or they're not logged in. Okay, so to put that another way, let's say I'm logged in to your site as a level zero free subscriber, but you have several pieces of content that are uh, locked down at level one. Well, I might be able to see in alternative views content that is available to me at level one, or I'm sorry, at level zero, but anything that's not available to me is not going to be shown, even in these archive views, whenever this is turned on here, whenever you set this to yes. Okay, so that's how alternative view protection. It's really just a filter against all queries that are performed against your database by themes and plugins and by WordPress itself on the front side of your website so that those excerpt versions of posts and pages, those are not even seen. Okay, so again, this is off by default. If you'd like to, if your intention is to use uh, this feature to, to help prevent any visible content from being seen on your site, then this is how you would do that. And then there are some ways to, to manipulate this as well. For example, there's a little mention here about how you can suppress filters on, a, on an individual basis whenever you make queries inside your theme or anything like that. So this would be for developers. Uh, so if you have a developer working with you, they might want to take a look at this. There's also some ways to work around this uh, discussed in the API scripting section of S2 Member, uh, which is where we discuss all the ex advanced topics for theme designers and developers working with S2 Member. And you'll see that there's a section here called Advanced Query Conditionals, where S2 Member allows queries to be made by attaching those filters. Okay, so you can control the alternative view protection, or in code we refer to them as query filters. You can attach those before and after uh, you make queries in WordPress. We also have some API functions available that allow you to do things like check in line as you're going through the list of posts or the list of tags in this example whether or not that tag is permitted to the to be viewed okay so you if you're a theme designer or developer you might uh, want to go through here because this will allow you to to really extend your theme and integrate it uh, in a much more advanced way with s2 members uh, security protections okay so i hope this video has helped clear up some of the uh, the little gotchas and confusions and maybe gone over some of these advanced topics here a little in a little more detail all right if you have any other questions please feel free to post those in our forum we'll be happy to answer them for you